Welcome back to my Let's Play for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and it's time to hunt down Justin and explain about the evils of Parseltongue. But yeah, this is probably going to be a relatively short episode, because I got some rice aroni with chicken on the um, stovetop right now, you know, absorbing the water, so... I gotta make it quick. I can't afford to spend too much time here. Or, you know, uh, probably get yelled at for leaving stuff on the um, stovetop for too long with um, flames underneath it. Cause you still gotta leave it, you know, on low when you're on um, doing that stuff. What are those things on the floor? Well, isn't it obvious? It's Nick and Justin. They're petrified. Look, it's the worm who talks to snakes. Get out of here, peeves. Show me your forked tongue, and I'll go. Say, what's that on the floor? Nothing, nothing, you saw nothing, now get lost! A statue? No, it's... Nick! Alarm, alarm! Potter's done it again! Two this time! No one alive or dead is safe! Yeah, I know, I have no consistent choice and accent for this guy, do I? Shut it, peeves! Or you're next! What's going on? He's done it again! Potter, you rotter! What is the hubbub and tomfoolery about? Pots are petrified two more! We're all doomed! Even the ghosts! Shut it, peeves. The rest of you be about your business. Pots are... come with me. We're, we're just gonna leave him in the hall? We're not gonna take him to the nurse's office? Well, someone steps on them! Man... Cold as ice. Uh, I would prefer cockroach clusters. Through there, Potter, I've done all I can. All you can? You didn't do anything! Ah, uh, I gotta fight my way to the... Headmaster's office? Great. I think these portraits would at least talk or something. I assume they're like former headmasters, you know, you think they have something to say. Like, oh, you're a potter. I've heard of you, kind. Your father was in here quite often, potter. Something. Because we know the portraits can move in the books. But I suppose doing that, you know, with the game would have been rather difficult, so, you know. Take what you can get, I guess. Huh. Apparently they're pretty spread out, so I didn't have to fight anybody. This must be Professor Dumbledore's office. There's the sorting hat. I wonder where they kept it when it wasn't sorting students into their houses. What a scraggly bird. Here's a little magic. I'm surprised Dumbledore hasn't. Yikes! I hope it wasn't anything I said. Hello, Harry. Professor, your bird spontaneously combusted! About time to. Fox is a phoenix. It's in his nature to burn up and be reborn from his own ashes. His golden red plumage should grow back soon. Phoenixes have many powers and are very faithful. When he returns to full strength, he'll be able to carry amazingly heavy loads. His tears have healing powers. Now, Harry, I want you to know, I don't think you're behind the attacks in Hogwarts. It's good to know someone believes me. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Anything at all? Nope. Nothing. Very well, Harry. You'd best go back to Gryffindor. Yes, Professor Dumbledore. But first, I gotta check out the office. Huh. <laughs> Unless he expels you, go to the card collector's club room and pick up a new card combo. Yeah, I fear there'd be a famous card in there. Question is, is it one I don't have already? Ooh, I got a card attack combo. Thanks, hat. Now, if only I could pull a sword out of you right now. What? I'd feel much better if I was equipped with a proper weapon. You know, for an RPG. At least give me a proper staff rather than a dinky little wand. I mean, come on.
Well, I guess it's Christmas time. Well, of course it does. Who would be here? Yes, but Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle are still here. It's the perfect time to put our plan into effect. Ah. Uh, the only one more ingredient for the potion. What's that? Bits of Crab and Goyle. What kind of bits? Don't tell me it's testicle hair. Ah, uh, locks of their hair will do. And go for their head. Seriously. How are we supposed to get their hair? I don't think asking will work. I'll well, just give them some chocolate cakes from a sleeping potion. When they eat and fall asleep, you can take some hair. Well, now. Don't mind slipping on a potion. This sounds like a terrible waste of chocolate cake. You can just give them cake. Even their tiny little minds will suspect it's a trick. Challenge them to a wizard's duel. If they win, you can give them a cake as a reward. If they lose, you give them cake as a consolation prize. And when they're asleep, you can hide them and take locks of their hair. And finish the potion and go down to Slytherin. Okay. Well, I guess we have enough time to go hunt down Crab and Goyle, probably. <laughs> Even if they did, probably wouldn't help. Now, where would I be if I was, you know... Crab and Goyle this time of day. Hey, you know where they're at? Yeah, I know they're a couple of losers, but they're losers I need to find. Ugh. Something you have some details, man. Well. Hmm. Yeah, they don't treat anyone well. They're kind of dumb lugs, what can I say? The entrance hall? Well, that's all the way downstairs. Darn it, I'll just go down the stairs. These secret passage stuff just doesn't work for me very often. Down the stairs we go. I guess we could take the um, shortcut on this floor into the, you know, dungeon. Oh wait, wrong one. Well, good. Basically dropped me off right where I wanted to be. And there they are, our two dumb targets. Yep, hello, Crab and Goyle. What you want? We just wonder if you'd be interested in a bit of a wizard's duel. Well, we want to duel you two. Well, there's chocolate cake in it for you, the winner, but don't think you can beat us without Draco being here. We don't need Draco. Beat Griffin dorks. See you in the dueling club, losers. Come on, at least be more creative and call me a poozer or something. I mean, come on. Of course, that'd be stealing from Green Lantern, but I doubt they read comic books. They're kind of dumb. Readings are beyond their abilities, I'm sure. Well, let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready. You think we'd be on the platform, though? Well, now... Nah... Nah... Yeah... So give me a second to remember, I can stun with both that way. Okay... Um... Oh, I don't have enough magic. Darn it. Grand pepper up potion. I guess we'll use it. Okay. Now I got enough points to actually do something worthwhile. Let's poison your sorry bud. I don't know if that's stuck or not. Okay, I'll try and light his world on fire. Well, I guess he's returning the favor. I think I can take it, though. Well, not very effective on Ron, and we did get the poison, okay. I was starting to wonder. Well, let's, um, try and finish you off. 
with another big fireball. Darn it, a miscast. I hate when that happens, you know? You discharge your wand, it just doesn't work right. It's embarrassing, man. Okay. Let's, um, spike this guy as well. Well, great, we almost took ourselves out. Well, let's just try and go for some... Gosh darn it, I missed again? Well, at least I'm not the only one throwing around wasted spells. But man, that hurt the pride. Okay. Try this again. Um... Go with the standard knockback jinx, I guess. That's about all I got left in me. And I'm not wasting more power at this point, you know, on potions. Once was enough. Okay, let's... Try and burn him. Damn, that backfire is really screwing me over. Okay. Shoot. This duel is taking way longer than I thought it would. It's not like they're really good or anything, it's just... I can't count on Ron for damage, because he's hurting himself. Okay, let's, um, finish this. Come on, plant him. I wouldn't want to be him right now. I mean, it's two on one at this point. Come on, do some serious damage, please. Darn it. I mean, it's better than that fire spell, but still. It's just... just a f little bit more. Another backfire? Jeez. That's three in one match. Come on, Ron, you need to get your wand fixed or something. Like, seriously, you need to use more spell tape on it. I mean, at this rate, he's more in danger of being killed by himself than the enemy. Ugh, embarrassing. Nice try, just so there's no hard feelings. Have some chocolate cake anyway. Why don't you want the cake? Um, because we have, um, pudding. Yes, we have pudding. We like pudding much better than cake. Eh, alright then. Cake! Ugh. Ugh. Quick, let's hide them! In a broom closet! Yep, see? Broom closet. Of course they're heavy. They're basically built like gorillas, man. Yeah, I can get another card combo. Maybe I should go work on that real fast. After all... Never know when you're gonna need a card combo. I think that's on the next floor. I think. It's been a while. Yep, definitely. Okay. Should be right here. Yep. Okay, lay it on me, man. Four, five. Ooh, we got five new combos. Um, Magi? I'm still missing one here. Darn. This is the one I have closest to completion, too. Well, I guess it's technically this one and that one, so... We're so close on some of these. So very, very close. Well, back to what we do best. Oh yeah, we gotta go to the mirror, don't we? Doi. 
Well, let's slide down. And we need to go upstairs to the bathroom. I believe. Because we want to go with the one right next to the writing, right? Well, next time, you know, we'll go into Moaning Myrtle's bathroom, which I think is right here. And if I'm wrong, you know, I'll just go down to the other floor and find it. Ugh. Until next time, then. See ya.